Hello, um, my name is Lenny, and this is my first ever attempt at doing a Photoshop tutorial. I'm not really a professional at it, student, learning, been using it for a long time, but never quite the way I'm using it now. Although, um, I've picked up some new tricks and tips, and through schooling and everything, and uh, collaborating with other artists, um, I'm studying for game art and design and this piece here, this tutorial, the objective is going to be to take a sketch and turn it into a full-blown, full-color concept art portfolio piece. Um, don't know if I'll succeed yet, I'm only just starting this. This is my first time ever doing this sort of thing from start to finish, but I think a lot of people might be interested in seeing how I work in Photoshop anyway. So on the screen here you see um, a sketch I did. I only did half the head. I, I don't know why. I just that's what came out one day while doodling. Um, please excuse the background noise too. My computer is very loud. I'll see if I can filter that out later. Anyway, here's the half of an alien head I want to um, do in a full-blown portrait. This is the original scan. Um, one of the first things I'm going to want to do here is I'm going to want to adjust the levels because um, I want to bring out a lot more of the detail that you can't see but I know is there from the scan. Not really too concerned with you know with the level. I just want to bring out the detail so I know what I'm going to work with. So this is half the head here. Um, this first part's going to be really short. I'm just prepping it. For um, to use as a template later on. So I take this head. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to copy it and flip it and make it um, much, you know, make make it a full face. So with that, I'm going to edit the canvas size. I'm going to double the width, or at least double the width. So that's 4.6. We'll say um, we'll say 10 inches for now. Um, come to layers. Okay. Uh, actually, what I want to do is I do want to try to get rid of some of the access. So I'll select that, Control Shift I, and hit delete. Now I'll hold the Alt key and move this to make a copy. Edit, transform and we will flip it horizontally to give us the other half of the face. Um, I'll take the eraser tool and just erase down the middle here. Um, we're getting kind of close. Try to match this up as best I can to what I think would be about right. That's kind of good enough to use as a template. Um, I'll just flatten it so I don't really need um, need two different layers. I'll come here. I'll even crop it. I will leave a little bit of the chest area. Now. Now we save. Always get into the habit of saving. Um, I don't really like that facial expression. He's got kind of a nervous, insecure look to his face. So I want to change his facial expression before I really start. So right now I'm just adjusting the image that I want to use as a template. And this is not really good enough. I want to have him a little meaner looking, a little more confident looking. Um, so, what I like to use is Liquify. Um, we have the drag here. We can adjust the brush size. Um, let's bring his eyebrows down a little bit here. Some minor adjustments. The 
the same on this side. That might have been a little too much. But, um, you know, fix a little bit of what we did in here. his eye up a little bit on the bottom here. That's pretty decent. Um, not really too concerned with this, with this pupil or iris all that much. But I'm probably not even going to sketch off of that too bad. That's not too bad. Um, I don't know which side I like better. Probably like this a little bit better. Or maybe if I just bring this down, like this here, pull his whole brow forward. Yeah, that's looking nicer. Bring this, make the brush a little bit bigger. Bring this whole thing down. Like that. Bring this up a little bit on the side. Close it a little bit more. Yeah, bring his cheekbone here out a little bit more. Bring this out a little bit more. That's looking pretty good. Um, and he's kind of smiling a little bit. I might want to give him more of a frown. I am working with a mouse right now, um, just for some of these minor adjustments. I'll be switching to my tablet shortly. Um, give him a little bit more shape, definition to his lips. Move this over a little bit. Try to make it a little more symmetrical, or centered anyway. chin seems misaligned here. So, what I can do with that is I give him a much bigger brush and I'm going to pull this whole section of his chin over. Kind of try to line that up in the center of his face a little bit. Bring this down. So what I'll end up doing is I'm going to do a cut and paste again after this. I like this side of his mouth better. Um, and I like this side of his upper head better. So, well, we'll see. Let's click OK. And we'll take a look at what works first. So first I'll take this side of his head that's not right. Come right about here. Do a copy paste. Flip it. I really should learn all the shortcuts. Now we'll move it over. Yeah, that's pretty good. I actually like that a lot more. So this is going to end up being my template. We'll flatten the image again. We'll save it. Um, I'm going to stop this here because I want to try to keep these tutorials, you know, short, quick, easy to upload. And then um, when we come back, we'll work on beginning to create a separate sketch layer from this because I don't want to draw directly on top of this. And um, that's it. We'll start adding some details, some color, some texture, and we'll see how far we can bring this guy. Talk to you soon. Bye.